Why did God do all this? Why did he create the world? Wasn't he having a great time being in the Trinity, living in a, an eternal a family of bliss? Why create in the first place? Following a train of trajectory of thought from the early church fathers that is picked up by people like Jonathan Edwards and in the modern era, people like C.S. Lewis, their thinking goes something like this. Now, anytime we talk about the Trinity, it's just an ultimate mystery, but I think that their thinking is so profound here that I want to go over the way their thinking patterns go on this. God existed as absolute total perfection for all of eternity. And his absolute perfection is only right that God is completely delighted with himself without being arrogant in any way. If he wasn't delighted in himself, it would imply there's another being in the universe with whom to be more delighted. And since there is no other being in the universe with whom to be more delighted, it's only right that God is completely delighted in himself without being arrogant in any way. And since the best way to delight in, in one's being is to behold oneself. And since God has always eternally desired to behold himself, the best way to do that is to see yourself. And so the Son, who is the exact representation of God's very being, has pre-existed for all of eternity with the Father as his mirror image. And the love relationship between the Father and the Son is so powerful. Their, their love is, it actually is a third person, the person of the Trinity. And I've been married for 30 years to my wonderful wife, Betsy. And, you know, Bets has her characteristics. I have my characteristics. But when Jackson and Betts get together, there's a third something. I, it's hard to describe. But when we're together, there's a Jackson Bettsness. And that's what I think the Holy Spirit is a good analogy of the Holy Spirit. You, the two create a third someone, which happens is a reflection of the relationship between the two. This is how some of the early church fathers thought about the Trinity and how some of the other later writers picked up on this. 